In this video, I'm going to show you the effects that I used to create the vlog using Filmora and this is Filmora 12.5 Now this is a test version that I could receive from Filmora Let's dive straight into that video Now these are my basic clips that I've added onto my timeline This side is still images Let's add a title and the title I've used is this title under the new VFX text. I've used the glitch live record. Let's pull this down onto the, this track here and this is what it looks like. Now I shorten this and just change it to my summer. So double click on it and go to the title. Now here you see that there's live record and also live record. There's two. Now one of it is the top level or the top layer Okay, so I'm going to change it to say my summer. If I move this aside, the top layer, that there's, there's something like smoke. And this is where this layer refers to. So if you want your smoke layer to look similar to the top layer, you have to change this as well. You don't have to move it aside. I'm moving it aside so that you can see it. Okay, uh, this is similar to this uh, text effects as well. Pearl of the Orient, I'm using the same one. Of course, I added some animation, which I will explain a bit later. So let's head back to the original title here. And if you click on Advanced, uh, you notice that there are some controls that you can use. Now, the default uh, title come in at the same time. If you want the smoke effect to come in a bit later, you can shorten the section over here. So the smoke effect will come in a bit later. And if you want your text to leave earlier, you can also shorten this. So your text will leave and then your smoke will go off. Okay, so you have a greater control and it looks a little bit nicer. So that is the first part. The second part over here, this is a still image and it's kind of a bit boring if I want to use this for a vlog. So I went to the effects and there is this new audio driven effect. Let me just change the view to list. I've used this color shift. So select this and put it on the top here. Now remember for this color shift, it will depend on the audio that you have on your audio track or your video track. So you need to double click on this effect and change the minimum threshold or the threshold minimum. Change it to something lower so that even though your music isn't so loud, it will start to have some effect. Okay, so that you can have that. All right now, if you want your effect to stretch over multiple clips, then you can just do that. So for my uh, video, what I've done is actually I've used it only for a portion. All right, and for the next section, I basically uh, copy this to the next section, something like this, and copy another section. Okay, something like this. So the certain section, it is back to back. All right. And uh, in one of the effects, I have actually stacked another effect on top, which is the audio driven zoom effect. Okay, so I stack this on top. So now I have two effects. So it looks something like this. Okay, let's adjust this as well. Change it to minimum. Uh, for my audio uh, levels, 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 works. This one is a threshold maximum, how loud for it to act so that whatever effect isn't too strong. So you need to adjust this to uh, hit a nice sweet spot for your type of video. So here, this text is similar to the one I've used in the beginning, uh, except that uh, I added some animation. So the default doesn't have animation, right? So the animation that I changed was my uh, changing to the animation and changing to the type written, type written effect. Now the basic works this way. Okay. But by having a type written effect, it looks this way. Okay, so it looks a little bit nicer. So you can change this as well. For the last part, what I've done is to use a type template. 
I use this template and I've used the happy expression this one here I'll select this and drag this onto right so let me make the tracks shorter the default is like this you have all these titles and text so here what you need to do is to replace your photo now this effect comes with music as well I remove this and I've actually make ensure that my audio is going over this side so I have my own audio see things a bit better okay so basically what I've done is to move this image that I have and replace this image let's move this aside put this over here move the entire stack somewhere like this so you can remove anything that you do not want if I do not want this either drag it off the screen or you can just delete this okay so basically that's how I created that vlog this is version 12.5 it's a test version that I get using from Filmora I'm sure they'll release the, all these features uh, soon for everyone as well I hope you enjoyed this uh, video you can use the effects that you learned from this video to create your own vlogs look forward to seeing your videos